Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Now this video is all about on how to install the single player garage mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require enable all interiors and I will leave this inside my description below. This does require lemon UI and I will leave this inside my description below. This video was requested by the viewers and I've been getting so many comments people have been saying to me on how to remove the vehicles from your garage or add vehicles. So let me explain. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Next go to your scuttlev.net.ini file, double click and make sure your reload key says insert. Exit and save. Next, make sure that you do have a skits folder. If you don't have a skits folder, then right click, go to new, then go to folder and rename that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your skits folder. And now let's begin. First, open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVD3 folder. And now select all the files and drag it inside your skits folder. And exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your Enable All Interiors extract folder and simply select all the files and folder except for the text file and drag it inside your scripts folder then exit out of your extract folder now next open up your SPGR extract folder and now go to this folder go to your scripts folder and simply select all the files and folder except for ifruit.dll text file and ifruit2 folder the only reason why we are removing ifruit because we already got one installed now simply drag all of your files and folders inside your scripts folder and now go to your main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I will see you in the game. Now once you are in the game, all you gotta do is go to your contacts, and go right down to the bottom, and you'll see three contacts. First, go to enable all interiors, and then now go to change and interior then now go right down to the bottom to misc options and now tick enable markers and tick enable blips now exit out of your options then go to refresh interiors wait for a few seconds and then now exit out of your menu go on your keyboard 
and press insert. Now your game will freeze but only for a few seconds. And now there you go, we are back. Now before we do anything, we need to go and purchase our garage. So the garage that I will be going to is the one over here, is where I always like to go to, is the one at the penthouse, okay? So I'll see you guys over there. And now we're here at the location. Now let's just go over here. Now I did steal this car on the side of the road. Now as you guys can see, you cannot see the marker much. So just go over here, okay? And you'll see a pop-up on your screen. There you go. Now press E to purchase. And I press E again to save your vehicle. Now press enter. Now press enter again to save your vehicle in slot 1. Now go down to save current vehicle. And then now uh, wait, then exit out of your menu. Then now go in again and now press Q to go into your garage and now you can just simply go over here and you'll see your vehicle right over there now over here uh, you can purchase vehicles or remove vehicles so press E add a vehicle so so go to vehicle category now over here you can purchase the vehicles okay but really important okay people have been telling me that their vehicle always disappear now the only reason why because let's go to SUV now up here it says slot 1 they do not change it that's why because in slot 1 as, as you guys can see uh, slot 1 okay is this vehicle over here now when you go and purchase the vehicle and add a vehicle go to SUV and uh, when I go to this one over here you'll see that my vehicle is now gone see it's because that I did not change the slot so make sure you press E go to add a vehicle go to vehicle category go to whatever vehicle you want and I make sure you change the slot to slot 2 and then now press enter and now you'll see another vehicle right there okay See, two vehicles now but we are going to test it in this garage over here so as you guys can see we are at one of the locations of the garage which is over here okay now once you come to the location you will need to purchase the garage so you cannot see any marker okay but go closer okay and now it says press E to purchase the gown so press E now press E again to save the vehicle so press E now go to garage 1 then now go to slot 1 over here then now go to save current car now your vehicle will disappear now press Q to enter the garage and now you have entered that garage over right here and you'll see your vehicle right over here now over here okay is your browser and etc and, and over here I think it's over here yeah over here you can press E and now you can add a vehicle into your garage if you want to and now you can purchase any vehicle you want like that and then there you go that is how you guys do it pretty easy but be but if you do purchase a vehicle make sure that you do jump in okay and then um save your vehicle by pressing Q okay and then now your current vehicle is saved and now you can simply drive out by pressing E and then now there you go and now you can simply use this vehicle or if you don't want to you can simply drive back in and now just only simply press uh, Q 
and now you can just walk out and then now you'll see your record inside here so this is an easy mod to use and there's no issues whatsoever so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod and we're back again so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod but like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that unfortunately I'm not active inside my YouTube comments I am more active inside my Discord server so make sure that you do go inside my description below and now join my Discord server I will leave my Discord link inside my description below so you guys can join my Discord server and so you guys can create a ticket inside the server and I'll be more than welcome to assist you now with that said if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful please smash the like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and I'm out